Okay, guys. Um, yeah. So fun integral. Um, let's get on with it. Um, okay. So to start, um, let's let y equal uh, the square root expression. So that's root x plus root x plus so on ad infinitum, right? So if that's y, then we can square both sides of this and realize that y squared is equal to x plus y. Yes. Um, if we square both sides of this equation, on the left we get y squared, but on the right, upon squaring this, we get rid of the first, the first, <laughs> we get rid of the first square root, right? So that means that we'll have x plus this infinitely nested square root expression, but that's what we called y. So we get x plus y when we square the right hand side. Yeah? Cool. All right. Then uh, we can write this as y squared minus y minus x is equal to zero. And this here is what we call a quadratic in y. So it's a quadratic. It's just that the variable is y. And therefore, this minus x here is a constant. Okay, so if we solve this quadratic in y for y, we will get that y is equal to, by the quadratic formula, minus b, that's minus a negative 1, so that's 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's minus 1 squared, so that's 1, minus 4ac, 4 times a is clearly 1, and then c is negative x. So uh, for ac, we'll have us um, write this, right? So minus 4ac specifically looks like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then all of this divided by um, 2a. That's just 2 here. Yeah, okay. So there's a little bit of cleaning up we could do. And that specifically is this, which is we could write that we have y equals um, 1 plus or minus and then square root of 1 plus 4x um, all over 2. Yeah? Cool. Okay, so um, now uh, there's a small detail, which is plus or minus. Well, you see what we called y is defined for x greater or equal to 0. So um, then y is at minimum 0. If x is 0, this right hand side is going to be 0, so y can equal 0. Now, uh, to make this equal to 0, because it starts off with a positive 1 half, we actually need to keep a little bit of the minus part. So you should understand what I'm saying when I say we have to keep a little bit of the minus si sign to attain the minimum of 0 that we um, set by saying y is equal to this, right? Uh, but by and large, it's really the plus that's concerned, right? And so, like, uh, I'm saying, uh, keep that uh, little note in mind about, um, yeah, what I just said. <laughs> but, yeah, let's not get bogged down in that um, the detail. And um, so, move forward with the integration. Got it. Got it. So y is this thing that I just erased, right? Um, and integrating y, the thing I just erased, is the same thing as integrating this, because we got to y equaling this from that uh, thing that I just erased. So what we're saying is the integral that we had to start is now the same as the integral of 1 half and that's just the divide by 2. So I'll write it all the way in front. And then it's going to be 1 plus square root of uh, 1 plus 4x dx, right? OK, so this is the same as 1 half times. Um, it's going to be x. And then this here, I could write as like um, this thing to the 1 half power. and it might make it easier to see how to integrate it. So it's going to be like um, 1 plus 4x to the 3 halves. I uh, don't like that parenthesis. To the 3 halves power divided by 3 halves, which is same as multiplying by 2 thirds. But um, like what I did is kind of like a substitution with u equaling 1 plus 4x. So we have to divide by 4 to say 
uh, th this answer is complete as an antiderivative of that. So that's the same as multiplying by 1 over 4. And I'll do that here. And also I could actually see that there's a 2 here and there's a 4 there so that they could reduce in this fashion. And I could see like, actually I don't need to write this fraction here. Uh, I could just write a 1 over 6 right here. Right? Okay. So all that is left to do is distribute this 1 half and write our final answer is 1 half x plus a twelfth of um, the square root of the square root of um, 1 plus 4x cubed and of course Monsieur Sir Sir